On the last episode, our hero, the final anomaly, took what little gems he had in search of an Ojama deck that could make it to master rank. He defeated rookie players and made his way to bronze. With some mistakes along the way, our hero adapted and now feels ready to take the next step in his journey. Will he reach the power he is seeking? Find out right now. Alrighty, for episode two, we are getting right into it. If you're new to the series, y'all, this is us taking Ojamas from the lowest rank possible all the way as furthest as we possibly can, hopefully to master rank. Now, of course, this will be in the time that whatever, you know, whatever season starts, whatever rank we are. But let's go ahead and get into the match already. We are currently in bronze. So let's see how far we can get into it or how far we can get into rank this season, y'all. So hopefully we can get a few matches in. These are all live, so really just depends on the opponent and how long they take. Uh, but hopefully, maybe we can get into like bronze uh, three or something. We're gonna go second. This is a going second deck at the moment. We may make it a going first deck as we get further in the ranks and as we get more cards. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, let's take a look and see what we draw here. Ooh, this is a really good hand. We have back row removal. We have negates. We have Ojamach and Ojama Blue. We need to draw into... Um, now, if this is, in fact, Dark Magician, we may not even need to use Dark Ruler. We'll just use Lightning Storm. Now, if he's able to bring out his Fusion Monster, we'll use Dark Ruler no more. And then Lightning Storm. Um, we're not going to take damage this turn anyways. Now, we do need or we do want to hope... This is bad. <laughs> um, them just passing turn like this is bad um wow did not expect that um they did that because i selected to go second is why uh so we're gonna go ahead and set this we're gonna go ahead and set actually setting the oja match does nothing for us let's go ahead and set it anyways so this is because we selected to go second unfortunately it's because we won the coin toss like i said in the first video um Anytime we choose a going second deck, for some reason, we're always winning the coin tosses. But when I want to use my ABC deck, which is what I main in rank, we never we never win the coin tosses. So this is typical of Master Duel to do this, which is a bit frustrating. I hope more people start to notice this trend um, as they notice it in the videos. Because anytime I want to... I've gone on a 19 coin loss streak. I've gone on a, a 23 coin loss out of uh, 24 matches. I've lost 23 coin coin toss so i've lost so many coin tosses it's it's, it's rather ridiculous um, but anytime i use a going uh first deck a uh, going second deck i'm always winning the coin tosses during the main or battle phase if you took damage by battle on opponent most card effect quick effect you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard for someone dark magician or dark okay this is actually great i guess he thinks that i have something else maybe he thinks i have kaijus or something so this actually is um uh, is fantastic um yeah, we're going to go ahead and summon Ojamo Blue here. Uh, I'm actually very happy with this this outcome. Now, getting Max Seed here is not um, it's not the best thing in the world, but we could. We're only going to lose 600 life points. Um, we're only going to lose 600, and Ojamatch is not special summon. So, I I want to say this is okay. We're going to go ahead and just we're, we're going to let him do his Max Seed here. We don't we don't lose much here. We lose 600 life points. Which isn't terrible. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take advantage of going as plus as we can. We want to get some Ojama duos actually. Given that we're not going to have uh, a lot going here. So let's go ahead and search actually. Um, yeah, let's do this. It's actually not bad. We'll be able to set up for next turn. And we won't have to special summon. So let's go ahead and we'll do this again. This isn't terrible actually. Go ahead and move my camera here real quick just a, oops just a little bit further down all right we're gonna go ahead and search the other ojama duo uh we actually might want to do ojama pajama as well yeah let's do ojama pajama as well so this way we can actually uh set some stuff up here we could go for another 300 life points which wouldn't be yeah let's do it let's activate the oja match let's go ahead and send the ojama duo that way um we have protection for the following turn he ashes this. That's fine. That's Ash out of the way. Uh, we actually don't mind Ash being out of the way here. Uh, the other Ojama duo we might actually want to also send to the grave. So we're not going to send the other Ojamach. Uh, this is again fine. 
We're going to go ahead and activate the other Oj match. And we'll send the second Ojama duel. So now we have protection for next turn. We can be protected from four different monsters, which is amazing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go for the Ojama blue. We're going to go ahead and go for the pile arm dragon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit uh, yes. We're going to normal summon. We'll normal summon the Ojama blue. Um, and I think we may end up just calling it there. Uh, no, let's do this because we may need protection for the next turn. So we'll go ahead and do the Ojamo Blue. Hopefully we don't lose next turn, but I don't see that happen. And we're going to go ahead and go for Oja Match. That way we can get... Um, we can get um, at least Arm Dragon level 3, like if we absolutely have to. We could also actually send the Ojamo Duo. And then we'd have three Ojama duos, which would... You know what? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go Oja match. We'll send the third Ojama duo here. We'll get blue back out. We'll get level three out here. Um, we'll go ahead and hit yes for the Ojama blue. We'll go ahead and play the Ojama blue. So for the cost of what? 1,200 life points. Um, we got to do a bunch of drawing here. Go ahead and activate Ojamo Blue, and then we're going to go ahead and now search these two. That way, we have those for the next turn. We're going to have three Ojama uh, duos in the grave, so we, I actually feel pretty good here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could go Pile Arm Dragon and let them draw one, or I can just set one and pass. Um, I think I don't... I, yeah, let's... It might be beneficial to play them. No. Um, let's just set one of the Dark Rulers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got to set one more. Um, shoot. Maybe we just maybe we just let him draw one. Let's just let him draw one. We'll activate the Pile Arm Dragon. Send to the Arm Dragon level three. Because um, in case he's got something that can destroy my back row, I kind of don't want him to. We're going to go ahead and draw the extra card here. Ooh, magical hats. Don't mind if I set that as well. Um, so, and then we'll pass turn here. And so we got to draw one. We got to draw. He drew one for ex and in exchange. We drew like what? I don't know. Was it eight? <laughs> so he drew one in exchange. We drew eight cards. Uh, I'm okay with that. Now he does have uh, he does have a lot here, but I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and activate um, Ojama Pajama. And we are going to activate the effect of Ojama Pajama here. Uh, we're not going to activate any of the Ojama duels in the grave. We definitely are safe this turn. I don't see us losing. We also have magical hats, which is pretty crazy. So um, I I'm feeling really good about this match. We're going to go ahead and send Oja Magic. Look at that. He's playing the Dark Magician deck, and I just did Oja Magic on him. And we're going to play magical hats on a Dark Magician deck. How crazy is this? We just did Oja Magic, and we're going to play magical hats on this Dark Magician deck. Now, that is wild. All right, and then we win next turn if he just passes turn again. We, we just auto win here. Uh, we have way too much advantage. This is insane. We got magical hats and Oja magic on a Dark Magician deck. This is this is great. This is great. Like I said, we have so much protection here too. We literally we have we can summon up to six monsters. Uh, actually, we may be limited now to the six monsters given that I just drew three. But we can still summon four monsters here. And we have Power Arm Dragon. And we have Ojama Pajama. And we have Magical Hats. So I feel really good here. He's going for a Tribute Summon. Did he brick? Because he just searched Dark Magician Guard, didn't he? He must have bricked. Okay, he's going for Raigeki. We do get the protection of Ojama Pajama here, which is amazing. So we'll activate Ojama Pajama. And we'll go ahead and just banish... Um, We'll go ahead and just banish an Ojama Blue. So luckily our Pile Arm Dragon is safe because of Ojama Pajama here, which is amazing. And I think, yeah, I think we just we just win here. Um, we're just too good. Yeah, awesome. He must have bricked. He must have bricked. I'm 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 playing a brick fest, and and I guess the opponent bricked. Kind of wild. Ooh, we drew another Oja Simulation here. Uh, let's just go ahead and activate it. Just go ahead and activate. Uh, we'll go ahead and go, and we, we just win here. Even if he maxes, um, we're just gonna go for it. So even if he maxes, we're just going for it. No maxi. We just win here. We just win. 
Unless he's got an Abiru, but if that's the case, we're going to go into Apollo. So we'll go ahead and go into Apollo USA here. Just in case he's got an Abiru. So that's in case he's got the nib. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, we could activate. Yeah, I guess we, well, I guess we might as well. Uh, we won't activate that one. We'll get to do our search here. I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, Ojama Pajama again here. And we'll go ahead and get Oja Magic. And then we'll send the Oja Magic. Giving us uh, three more Ojamas here. So that we can go ahead and complete game and guarantee game. We'll do this. This. And this. We'll go the Oja Simulation again. We'll go ahead and uh, I guess we could already go for this one. Why not? We might as well. Let's not uh, let's not go any further than we need to just in case things happen. So we'll go ahead and summon our monsters. Uh, then we'll go ahead and bring out the XYZ. Go ahead and activate this. We'll send level 5. We'll go ahead and destroy the Dark Magician Girl. He did have an effect. What does he have? Should have read the graveyard, maybe. Maybe it's the Karibo. The Karibra. Uh, okay. Um, we won't negate it just yet. We'll negate it on the on on uh, whenever I battle. So this is fine. Uh, what we'll do next is we're gonna go ahead and some. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and activate an Ojama. Oh, let's let's go ahead and draw here because we can activate Ojama Duel because we're out of Ojama cards. So let's go ahead and do this, putting these back into the deck. And then let's go ahead and bring out the negate just in case. Again, I'm scared that he may have stuff in his hand um, that can hurt us. So let's go ahead and bring out A to Z already. And then we'll make the copy of another 4,000 monster. So let's go ahead and do this. Then we'll bring out A to Z. Now we'll activate Ojama Duo in the grave. Bringing out these two. Then we'll go into Ronin Raccoon. Then we will make a copy 4,000 attack token here. We're going to bring out Ojama Yellow to get in on the action. And then we'll go for game. So, attack. Attack. We have too many negates here, so it's not like it matters. Uh, we'll go ahead and just negate that with um, A to Z. Go ahead and send the green to the grave, negating that. That's negated. Ojama Yellow, of course, needs to get in on the action. And then we'll finish it off with Ronin Raccoon. GG's! We didn't get to activate the magical hats on the Dark Magician player, but... Uh... You know, Brickfest versus Brickfest, and it looks like my bricks are just bigger and better. So we get the first match here. That's freaking awesome. Um, Ojama's just too strong in the lower ranks. Of course, you know, they're capable of getting to, to Diamond 1. We've done it before, so obviously they're going to be performing well in the lower ranks. Now, this isn't the Diamond 1 deck. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next match here. So far, we are doing extremely good. Maybe going second and the opponent being scared of whatever we had going second, um, causing them to just pass turn was for our benefit. What? A this is insanity, y'all. It, it really, deep down, I'm furious. I'm like cringing and I'm furious at the fact that I'm just winning these coin tosses. But if I use a going first deck, I will not win the coin tosses. It's extremely upsetting and just proves my point even further. Anyways, enough of that. Guys, look at this hand, Ojama Blue Oja Match. We have uh, Flawless uh, Perfection of the Tenny or whatever. We have the Dark Ruler No More and the Lightning Storm. This is a very ideal going second hand. Now, if they just pass turn because we chose to go second, we will set the Ojama Blue. We'll play Flawless Perfection of the Tenny. 
And then depending on what we draw, we may set Oja match. Ooh, we're playing Time Lords though. This is bad. A zero attack versus a zero attack is not the best thing. Luckily, we have Dark Ruler, so we could just run over. Ooh, we got another Oja match. So we could just run over this as a worst case scenario. I could also Lightning Storm it. Um, but we might want to save the Lightning Storm. I think what we'll do, let me see what this does. Um, you take no battle damage from attacks involving this attack position card at the end of the battle phase. If this card battles, return as many monsters on the field as possible to the hand. Other than this card, and if you do inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card returned. Um, that's actually... That's not the worst thing, right? I think we just... We just play this. I mean, I could Dark Ruler no more this and at least destroy it. We can also draw one given that we have double Oja match. But we could do a draw one here, but I think we just... Does it return to the hand or deck? Return as many monsters on the field as possible to hand other than this card. And if you do inflict to the hand. So we'll just set this in defense. And then we'll actually... Let's go ahead and set one Oja match just in case things get really hairy. And then we'll end turn here. So I feel pretty good about this. Uh, this is where it's kind of hard, right? It's one wall versus another. He's got a zero attack. So we could have Dark Rulered. We could have Dark Rulered, and then we could have also destroyed it, but and not too concerning here. Right, Geki. Now, that is uh, an issue, but this is fine. This is fine. It's not the worst thing. I guess he's a guy. He, I think his is a going second deck as well. The going second deck versus going second deck. This match may actually be very slow. This may be a very slow match. Ooh, what is he playing? Uh, you can discard this card and one of the monster. All right. Looks like he actually has more than just Time Lords. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little worried here. I'm a little worried. I am a little worried. All right. This isn't the worst. Now, if he's got a Ash Blossom, we may be hurting here. What does this do? All Earth monsters you control are also treated as you uh, would discard a monster one card and activate the effect. Of... Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, that's going to be a lot of damage. Okay, we're going to go ahead and activate the Oja match. I don't want to send the Oja match because if he's got, if he has an Ash, it doesn't look like he's got an Ash. Right, let's go ahead and bring this out and we'll search the pile Arm Dragon. And we're going to go ahead and summon the Ojama Blue here. If we could put it in defense mode, it would be super awesome, but unfortunately, um,. Fortunately, we can. All right, awesome. He does decide to crash here. He wants those life points pretty bad. And uh, we, we want this draw too here. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Oja match. And I think what we go for is going to be the Oja simulation, given that we have two, two Ojamas in the grave already. It's probably going to be the best bet here. Hopefully, he can't continue his plays to 3,200. Okay, good. He can't. So it looks like we're going to win this match too. So Ojamas get, get the second match as well. Which is awesome. Love to see it. Ooh, we got an Ojama Yellow. Uh, definitely love to see it. So, I'm wondering if we even have to go. We don't even have to do Ojama Blue again. Um, Alright, let's see. Maybe he doesn't read this. And if he has Maxi, we'll go ahead and do it. So, we'll send Ojama Yellow. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and do Ojama Blue anyways. And we'll get Arm Dragon level 3. We're going to go ahead and bring out Ojama Blue. He's got something. He can activate something. I just don't know what it is he can activate. Maybe it is Maxi. Let's go ahead and activate Pile Arm Dragon. Go ahead and send the Arm Dragon level 3. Okay, there's no Maxi, so we're safe. We're safe here. We're going to get to draw one from Arm Dragon level 3. I honestly don't know what it is that uh, that they have. What do they have? That's a quick effect. Quick effect. You can target one earth monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Okay, that's what they got. Um, let's go ahead and activate. Yeah. Oh, we can't activate the lightning storm. Probably should have done that first. Or maybe we couldn't because we had the field spell. So 
It doesn't matter. Let's activate Ojo Simulation here. And we're going to go ahead and go for ABC Dragon Buster. We're going to go ahead and obviously send the cards in our graveyard. Worst case, we'll get to draw one here. If things get really hairy. Okay, they don't. So we're good. We're going to force him uh, to activate that effect, I think. But we may go into Apollo first, actually. Yeah. The idea would go into would be going into Apollo. The reason I don't activate Dark Rulers is because I actually want to go for game. Um, because we can. There it is. Okay, this is fine. Don't know what effect it has, but at this point it no longer matters. Um, we're going to activate this. Going for Apollo. So we have that. We'll go ahead and activate these effects. We're not going to activate that one. We're going to go ahead and bring this one out. We'll go ahead and activate our graveyard effect so that we can draw. Maybe we'll draw into Oja Simulation, which would be nice. Ojama Pajama, I will take it. We haven't normal summoned either. We're going to go ahead and activate ABC here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate this. Send Oja Magic. We'll go ahead and um, send that, that fella. We'll banish that fella. We're going to go ahead and draw three here, which would be super cool. Super ideal. I don't think we've normal summoned, so we can also go into... Ooh, we can actually do this. We can go ahead and summon Ojama Yellow. This will let us go into Ronin Raccoon. Getting a 3,000 token on the board. We'll set the Ojama Pajama. And I think we'll uh, go into the battle phase. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack into this. We will attack into this. We will go ahead and take these life points. I'm feeling really good here. Let's go into uh, Zeus just in case things get really bad. If things get really bad, we're going to go into Zeus just in case. And I think we pass turn and I think that's victory for us. We have a negate. We have a banish. We have Zeus to wipe the board in case things get really bad. Uh, I feel super good here. I feel super good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and negate that. Oh, does that? No, I, I was going to say I thought that might have uh, chain blocked, but it doesn't. So we'll go ahead and activate that. We're going to activate Ojama Pajama 2 just for the heck of it. Go ahead and activate it. And we'll go for Ojama Duo, obviously. Send Ojama Duo. I got negated, and I think that's game. Our hero, TFA, seems to be enjoying the nice, relaxing environment of a no-sweat zone. But that will soon change as he climbs ladder. As the ranks get bigger and Ojamas get smaller, will he be able to adjust to the challenges ahead? With him soon leaving bronze behind and getting into the silver ranks, the final anomaly will soon face real challenges ahead. Will he be able to overcome? Find out on the next episode of Ojama, to master rank series.